Hello guys, today I want to talk about Red Alert 2, which is uh, which I consider one of the best strategy games ever made, uh, but the problem with it is that it doesn't really work on Windows 8 by default, so today I'm going to show you how to fix this. First off, start the installer. Uh, this is the stock original game disk, okay? So nothing uh, fancy here. It takes some time to load. I think it it used to be faster on uh, on older computers. I guess it's it's uh, because of compatibility reasons. Click next. Accept the agreement, and uh, next you gotta enter your product key. Encryption code required. You have 30 seconds to comply. Security clearance complete. Okay, Customize once you combat enter software, your key, Commander. you can uh, customize the installation. I don't think you need these internet components. They won't work anyway. Okay. And make sure to uh, install to a folder where you have write access as a user, okay? Because uh, Red Alert 2 was made with the assumption that the game is running with admin privileges, but with Windows 7 and Vista even, that's no longer the case, okay? So don't install the program files or whatever. The C Westwood RA2 folder is perfect. Combat software fully customized. Proceed to military intelligence emergency briefing. And now the installation is finally completed, so we can move on. Uh, make sure to return to Windows first, okay? Okay, now you got a new desktop shortcut to Red Alert 2. Now also make sure to install the latest Red Alert patch, which is 1.006. It should be straightforward to do, just accept everything as it is. Okay, it's ready. And now as a precaution you may want to disable DPI scaling. Uh, we'll also set this up via compatibility options but it may help if you if you do this manually too. So go to screen resolution and click make text and other items larger or smaller and uh, make sure that this slider is on the left and is set to smaller. Okay, then click apply and uh, I think you'll also need to log off from Windows and then log back in. And that's it. And now before running Red Alert 2 you probably want to disable the intro, right? <laughs> You've seen it a lot of times and you can't exit it, you can't skip it, you can't do anything to it. So we're going to hack on it a bit. Go to the install folder, which is by default C Westwood RA2, and you'll find a file called RA2.ini. Now you can uh, edit it with Notepad, uh, the default editor of Windows, but I truly hate it, so I'm going to use Notepad. And now you're gonna find a section called Serial Defaults. And uh, right before that, create a new section called intro. And then set up a new attribute called play and set it to no. Now save this file and you have disabled the intro. Now it's time to run Red Alert 2, right? Let's see if it works. Whoops! Fatal. String manager failed to initialize the properly. Okay. So from what I understand, uh, after digging in the registry, 
uh, Red Alert 2 really does assume that you are running this as an administrator, which is hopefully no longer the case. And uh, it fails to set up some registry keys uh, about some Tiberians, some type libraries. What is a type library? I have no idea, but uh, but uh, you gotta allow Red Alert 2 to set it up. So, okay, accept that, and you gotta run Red Alert 2 as an administrator once. Okay, this is a one-time job. Just do this. And voila, now you get a different error. It says that uh, unable to set the video mode. Okay, accept that. And now you gotta set up some compatibility options via the registry. Here is compat.reg. Uh, I think uh, I'll put this up uh, in the video description. Okay. Here's the file. It just sets up a few options. Uh, this one is not even exposed via the UI, okay? So the best thing to do is to just install it to the registry. It will ask you if you really want to do this, yes. And then it acknowledges it, okay. Uh, obviously, if you have used a different install path, you need to uh, modify this accordingly. Now, just to make sure, uh, verify that it is indeed there, okay? Click Start and Start Regedit. You can do this by typing Regedit and then just start it. Now, check out the current user key there. Oh, I, I, I think it's called Hive, but whatever. Then uh, software, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, app compat flags, layers. And there you have them. That's perfect. Now you can close it. And uh, I'll also set up windowed mode. Uh, because my screen recorder doesn't support red alert in uh, full screen. Okay, you don't need to do this. I only do this so that I can record it. Let's check it out. Wow, apparently it works. Okay, skip this logo. And there you have it. Now the problem is of course that it, this this uh, resolution is really tiny. Let's fix fix that. Again, you need to edit array2.ini. Find the video section and here you have the small resolution setup that you want to fix. Uh, probably you're having a full HD display so set it up accordingly which is uh, 1920 and 1080. Save it, close the editor and try again. seems to be working. Yeah, there you have it. Now it's working in glorious full HD. And my computer is starting to slow down, of course. Let's, yeah, it, it looks a little bit glitchy, but rest assured that it works flawlessly in uh, full screen. So now go to single player and see if it indeed works. Yes, sir. Locked and loaded. Start the Allied campaign. I'm going to skip this Commander, briefing. Good morning. The 
Establishing battlefield control. Okay, it started up, but uh, you have probably noticed that it's slow the as Soviet hell. Is attacking the Statue of Liberty. So we, we are also gonna fix back. this. Sir, okay, about the mission. Is there anything you can Battle control terminated. Exit the game. And open your most favorite file again, array2.ini. And you gotta put another line here, right after the video. That is a video back buffer. And uh, set it to no. Save it again. Close it. And start Red Alert again. Okay, again, try to start the campaign. I'm going to jump into the autosave. Establishing battlefield control. Stand by. And yeah, it's much, much smoother. If I wasn't recording, it would be totally smooth, okay? So, that's it. That's how you run Red Alert 2 on the Windows 8. Enjoy, guys. Anything you can do. Battle control terminated.